Hey everybody, welcome. Um, thanks for coming out to um, Numina Press um, introduction. Actually, want everyone to be a little more quiet than they're being right now. So much better. Thank you guys. So thanks for coming out to Quiet Lightning. <laughs> as a joke but um so for a guy who runs a show that forgoes introductions you'll have to forgive me because i'm going to be a little bit verbose tonight um we have five excellent authors who i respect very much and i'm honored to be here introducing them can everybody in the back hear me I'll take that as a no okay i'll speak up a little bit is that better okay so for, I think, I feel like I know almost everybody in the room, but for those of you who don't know, I'm gonna give a little introduction to Numina Press. Um, Numina is on the cutting edge of an industry that no one really understands right now. And I've been to seminars and conferences as everything from an amateur um, freelance reporter to an expert on online publishing. So. That's a, a pretty sure sign, I think, that most people don't know what's going on. Um, Numina's publisher, Janina Gatsulski, who is here and freshly back from Cody. She's a literary snob, and she ain't ashamed of it. Janina believes in the authors she publishes, and more importantly, she believes in their books. Why aren't there more quality literary books? I know we've all thought this before. Well, Janina with Numina is making these books possible today. So, yeah, make some noise for that. So, for those who don't know, Numina has two imprints. The first is Vox Novus, which I may be mispronounced, um, but focuses on contemporary full-length works deemed by the publisher to have an outstanding literary or scientific merit, which you have to love, um, and Gloria Mundi, which was established to provide accessibility to forgotten classics, either through new translations or through new editing. And this is only the beginning of Numina Press. So let's take a look tonight at what we have so far. It's fitting, in my opinion, that Tamim Ansari is our first reader tonight because, as far as I can tell, none of us would be here tonight if it weren't for Tamim. He has run the San Francisco Writers' Workshop every Tuesday night now, I think for 15 years. I didn't fact check that. But he provides invaluable feedback to every single person who shares his or her work there. In that amount of time that he's been running it, the group has generated dozens of books and nearly a dozen national bestsellers, including winners of the Penn Award, the Northern California Book Award, and the Rome Prize from the American Academy of Arts and Letters. The San Francisco Writers' Workshop is a community resource, the likes of which any metropolis would be proud to claim, but that perhaps only we can claim. Every single one of the books that you will hear from tonight were workshop there and have benefited greatly from Tamim's guidance. Every single one. But our introduction does not stop there. Tamim is the best-selling author of several books himself. When I first moved to San Francisco, I read West of Kabul, East of New York, a family saga that addresses growing up bicultural, first in Afghanistan and then in America, without his father, who remained behind. The book was released shortly after 9-11 and, in a modest and honest tone, provided a voice of reason when many in our country and in the world most needed one. Reading the book in my tiny tender knob loft, I could not believe that a man of such distinction would be accessible to me any and every Tuesday I chose. It was one of the first realizations I had of how wonderful San Francisco is. Uh, I asked tonight's readers a few questions to pepper their bios, and when asked the biggest shame Tamim had ever recovered from, Tamim responded, crying when I shouldn't have. No, wait, biggest shame, not crying when I should have. Tonight, he will read from his latest book, The Widow's Husband, an historical novel set during the first Anglo-Afghan war, which ended with the British community of 17,000 trying to walk out of Afghanistan over the Hindu, Hindu Kush mountains in a blizzard and all but one of them getting killed. Ladies and gentlemen, Tamim Ansari.